Hey, hey y'all, y'all wanna cook something? Let's make cauliflower soup. And don't turn away yet, okay? Because you just don't know. I don't like cauliflower, but I love cauliflower soup. And then I took it to work one day and my friend T.A. said, you ain't potato soup? I said, no, it's cauliflower soup. She said, I don't like cauliflowers. I said, neither do I, but go get a spoon and taste of it. And she was like, I don't like cauliflower. I said, do you trust me? She said, yeah. I said, then go get a spoon and taste of it. And she said, okay. And she came back and with her spoon and she put, I mean, she barely just stuck it in there and stuck it to her tongue. She said, wait a minute. And she stuck it back in there and she stuck it to her tongue. She said, that's good. I said, I told you, it don't taste like cauliflower. Y'all, it's good. It's fine. I'm fine. Everything's fine, okay? So first we're gonna start with, guess what? Cauliflower. Now I bought, sometimes I buy the frozen. It's starting already. Sometimes I buy the frozen and sometimes I, I buy this. Now I used to buy the whole head of cauliflower, but that's too hard. That's too hard to deal with. You gotta bust it all up and stuff. So I just buy this. It's already washed and prepped cauliflower florets. Yeah, or is that a floret? <laughs> and I'm just gonna, I'm gonna take this little knife and I'm gonna cut off the bottom right there, right there. And then I'm gonna, I'm just gonna chop that like that. It ain't gotta be real small. And then once I do that, I'm gonna take them little chopped up pieces and I'm just gonna drop them in the bowl just like that. And then these stems, I'm gonna throw them away. I don't, I don't eat the stems. They get a little too tough for me. So that one's not big at all. So I just chopped off the bottom and then we're gonna take that one. We're just gonna chop off the bottom, kick it over to the side. And we're gonna drop it in the bowl like it's hot, okay? Drop it like it's hot. We're gonna chop off that stem and these bigger pieces, that's all right. They just need to be small enough to fit in my air fryer. That's all we need is for them to fit in the air fryer because after we roast these, then we're gonna put them in a a big stock pot and we're gonna make the soup. But first we're gonna roast them. You can roast them in the oven or you can roast them in the air fryer, whichever you prefer. Now, if you roast them in the oven, it's about 400 degrees for about 20 minutes. But if you use your air fryer, it don't heat up the house. Now, heating up the house is a thing in the South that we don't like to do, even though it is chilly outside today. I don't wanna heat up the house because, Lord, I was cooking something last week where I had the whole oven heated up hot. It heated up hot, really? And anyway, it got real hot in here. Because I'll go from uh, freezing to cold in just a few minutes, you know, because I am woman. Hear me roar. That's what we do. We can't regulate our temperature, apparently. So that was one bag. Now I'm going to open another bag. Okay, that's fine. We'll just put that over there. Just keep cutting these little things up. Now, if you wanna buy the little riced cauliflower, you know, it's already chopped up, that's fine too. But I thought since I'm using my new air fryer, that them little bitty pieces might be a little bit too small because the tray I'm putting them on has these small little holes in it. And I was just afraid that they'd fall through and I'd, I'd lose a bunch of my cauliflower. So I just decided to go with the florets. Hopefully I ain't making y'all nervous with my chopping abilities. Look, I don't usually cut myself chopping up stuff. I cut myself when I'm trying to wash the dishes more than I do when I'm actually trying to use the knife to chop it up. My accidents are truly accidents. It's just, I've reached down to grab something and do something else. Yeah, right now, if you if you paid me $100, I don't know. Well, I might for $100, but I just, I don't like cauliflower. I don't like the smell of it. I don't like the texture of it. I don't like, mm -mm, no, but I love cauliflower soup. Somebody posted on my page this morning that this is a fake account. And I was like, what does that mean? Am I fake? I'm not fake. I'm about as real as they get. So I don't know what she meant by that. And I was like, well, if you're talking about your own account, it sure does appear to be fake, but mine's not. I don't think, unless somebody just didn't tell me, you know? Is any of this real? 
I'm gonna give it a quick rinse, even though it's already been rinsed, but I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I took all those uh, cauliflower leftovers and I put them outside for the little chipmunks and squirrels and birds and things to eat. So those are rinsed. And now I am going to, where's my olive oil? Take my olive oil. Good night, Tracy, here we go again. Why has this always happened to me? Okay, well that was ugly. I'm just gonna take a little bit of olive oil and I'm gonna drizzle it. I'm gonna drizzle it over here like this here thing. And then I'm gonna take some salt. Well, first I'm gonna shake this around. Kind of distribute the olive oil throughout and make sure everything's good and coated. Might need a little bit more. And that's just olive oil. It's not extra virgin or nothing. Take that big old stem out. How'd you get in there? All right, so everything feels like it's good and coated, including my hands, so hang on. Now we're gonna put, let's see how much salt it says to put. Oh, a half a teaspoon, whatever. We just gonna sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle like that over the top. Just get it all good and in there. And then we're gonna, we're gonna go back in and try to get all that salt kind of blended around in there. I like to go ahead and put my seasoning on the cauliflower itself instead of in the pot when I start making the soup because I don't know, it just seems like it's better if it's baked on there. That's just been my personal opinion on it. You can do it either way. I will post the recipe. I will tell you, that's white pepper, sorry. And it's gonna make me sneeze. I will tell you, the recipe calls for ginger and I'm not gonna put ginger. That's a personal preference. You can put ginger if you want to. That gives it, I think, more of a, maybe a Thai flavor. But I'm not crazy about ginger. I like ginger candy. I like ginger ale. I just don't like ginger in my soup, okay? And now we're gonna use ground turmeric. It calls for a half a teaspoon, like that. And we're gonna sprinkle it all over and again i'm gonna go in here and toss it and just try to get everything coated all over this cauliflower okay let me wash my hands these are the baking trays that go in my air fryer i am going to just pour and you don't want it to be too close you want each piece to get its own attention so don't let it be too crowded on your baking sheet you can do this in the oven but again make sure you use big baking sheets and just get it good and spread out so it can have air coming up all the way around it or heat, whatever you choose to use. I'm gonna take another one. I'm just gonna set it down on top of there. I'm gonna pour out some more, spread it around. And then I'm gonna take a third one and do the rest. Okay, and then we're gonna go to the air fryer. Okay, so here's my air fryer. You go in there, you go in there. We are going to Turn it on, 375 for 20 minutes. And then I'm gonna turn the light on because I like to watch it. And we'll be back in 20 minutes. Okay, now this part is whether you want to add onion or not. Some recipes call for it, some do not. I like onion, so I am going to put this in my chopper, but I'm chopping it up just in some smaller pieces first. I got this big chopper from Tupperware from my friend Belinda. Mo I'm sorry, Melinda. <laughs> Her name is Melinda Brown, and I always say it backwards, Belinda. Belinda Brown, anyway. I have the small chopper and I wanted the bigger chopper. So now, let's just, we're just gonna do a whole onion. Let me see if I can. I might have too much in there. Let me see if I can do it on my own. 
with that pipe. There we go. Just kind of get it started, you know. Look at there. Look at there. All right. Now I'm gonna use coconut oil. So I'm gonna put a big old wallop of coconut oil in here. And I'm gonna put the stove top on about four. And once that melts, I'm gonna add the onion to it. And I want it to cook down just a little bit. And then we can add our cauliflower and our chicken stock. Now, if you want this to be truly vegan, you can use vegetable stock but I am not a vegan. I just can't drink milk or have milk products. While that's melting down, my air fryer has already finished cooking. So let's go look and make sure that it's browned because you want your cauliflower to be browned. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at there. And then, we're going to put all of this in the stock pot with the chicken stock and the onions and a can of coconut milk. And then we're gonna blend it. All right, ain't they pretty? They're so pretty. But when you roast a vegetable like that, it brings the flavor out. They're delicious. I could eat them just like that. I still don't like cauliflower. All right, so my oil in the pot is melted right there. And I'm just gonna dump that whole onion whoop, without dropping the thing. This recipe calls for onion powder. No, it doesn't. It calls for garlic powder and it doesn't call for an onion. So that's why I say add an onion if you want to, but I think onions add a whole lot of flavor. And then I'm also going to use my garlic. I have a whole bunch of garlics. Whole bunch of garlics in here. And let's see, I got this one's open. And you don't wanna put your garlic in when your onion is still cooking like this. You wanna wait till your uh, onion kind of has sauteed. You want it to be translucent. So why did some of these feel empty? Did I buy a bunch of empty garlic cloves? That one's starting to grow. Did you know you can take this out in the yard and bury it and grow your own garlic? Sure can, just grow your own. Them's little bitty, I don't want no little bitty ones. So I'm just gonna take about, I don't know, five of these. And once this starts getting a little bit translucent, then we can add the garlic to it. I'm gonna turn it up just a little bit. Be show is smelling good. If you had smell a vision, y'all remember um, who was that? Emerald Lagasse used to say he needed smell a vision so you could smell what he was making. All right, so this is my garlic press. You can get these on Amazon. This one is by Pampered Chef though, so you would have to go to a Pampered Chef dealer to get one of these. Oh, gosh, I can't do it. That garlic said, uh-uh, I ain't coming out. And then you wanna take a little knife and just scrape that off, and then you pull that off. But that's got a bunch of good garlic on it, so we're gonna just throw that back in there. That's a smaller one, so hopefully it won't go so bad. I mean, be so hard. Give it a quick stir because you don't want your onion to get too done. You don't want it to burn. So we got the onion and the garlic. I think the onions are getting translucent. Y'all are steamed up. So this is really good too when you have like a cold or if you end up with the, you know, the big C. Because onions and garlic are very healing to your body. They're very good for colds and such. Cleaning out your lungs and all of that. So now to this, I'm going to add this whole box of chicken broth. Again, you can use vegetable if you want. This box holds four cups and the recipe calls for, well, actually it calls for, uh, you know what? I'm just gonna have to do the recipe because what I printed out isn't anything what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm just making it up as I go, but I have made this several times 
I just basically wanted that so I wouldn't forget anything. But it calls for two cups of water, so I would rather use a stock because you're gonna get way more flavor out of a stock than you will water. So now I'm just dumping in all of that cauliflower and we'll just let that start simmering. Gonna leave it on about a five, a four to a five. I am not going to add my coconut milk yet. I'm gonna let that start cooking and let those seasonings start blend together, blending together. And then there's something on the eye that is cooking. So we'll just kick that off of there. I think it's probably just a piece of onion or garlic, but that's fine. Anyway, we'll just let that start cooking down and get all those flavors melded together. And then we'll be back and add the can of coconut milk. I get the unsweetened, full fat coconut milk. You need the fat in it. There's nothing really fattening in it, so you need the fat to add some more uh, flavor and thickness to when we blend it. So anyway, uh, yeah, I'm gonna clean up my mess that I've made thus far, and I'll be back and we'll add the coconut milk and then we'll blend it, okay? Okay, I'll be back. Okay, so it's probably been about 15 or 20 minutes, and this is really starting to cook good. You ain't getting nothing. And the juice is cutting, uh, cooking out of the soup. It's getting a little bit thicker. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add, she heard the can opener, that's why she's in here. I got the can opener out, and man, she knows, she knows. It's not yours though. So I'm gonna open a can of coconut milk. She's been asleep. Honey, you don't want coconut milk, I can assure you. No, you don't. And I'm gonna take all this fat and all, water and all, and I'm gonna dump it in here, okay? So let's come over there like that. It just blew everywhere. We're just gonna dump it in there. Can you clean up the coconut water that went all over the floor, Gracie? Cause uh, that thing spurted everywhere. It spurted. Yeah, it made a mess. Yeah, it made a mess, didn't it, girl? All right. I'll put that whole can in there. So we're gonna take this and put it on the end of here. Just like that, and we're gonna plug it up. Now, let me give you a warning. I'm gonna cut that way down. I decided that I was gonna use my Vitamix my first time making this. Gracie, honey, you can't have any of this. I was gonna use my Vitamix because I thought, well, that'd be a great thing to do. But let me go ahead and warn you. If you're gonna use a blender or a Vitamix or whatever, don't put it in there and put the lid on it when it's hot like this because it's gonna explode. You wanna know how I know it's gonna explode? Whoops, cause I was making butternut squash soup and I moved it to my Vitamix and I turned it on and it exploded and there was orange butternut squash just dripping off my ceiling. So just trust me, don't do that. But you can use one of these. So I'm gonna take it all the way to the bottom and turn it on. Let's turn that down. I don't think we need it quite that bad. Keep it close to the bottom and it's going to start to thicken. Don't lift up while this thing's going because you're going to sling it everywhere. So put it back down on the bottom and then you'll just tilt it just a little bit because you want a little bit of air to get up under there. Not really air, but you know what I mean. Cause it'll suction to the bottom if you don't have a little tilt to it. And basically all you're wanting to do is chop up all that cauliflower and the onions and you just want to and you just want to make it creamy. <laughs> oh, that could have been bad. Yeah, that could have been bad, but it wasn't. It's fine. 
All right, so now I'm just gonna take this. Hold on, y'all come over here. Don't get scared, you come over here. Look at there, look how smooth and creamy that is. Now I'm gonna let it sit here and continue to simmer and let it continue to thicken up. Then when you go to serve it, there's several different things that you can serve it with. Some people, I myself included, will sprinkle sunflower seeds on the top. That's delicious. It doesn't sound like it, but it's delicious. I've cooked bacon, and once the bacon's crispy, you crumble the bacon on top. Some people add like Parmesan cheese to the top. You can add whatever you want to, or you don't have to add anything. You can cut up some like lemongrass or some chives, whatever you want to add to the top of it, just if you want to. But if you don't want to, that's okay too. It's good just like it is. It's really good when it's cold and miserable, kind of like it is today. So I'm just gonna take just a tad. Well, Lord, I got the, that's my baby spoon. I just keep it in my drawer. I, I don't really eat out of it. My mom, I think she said she got it down at this mall when I was a baby. It, her daddy may have even bought it when I was a baby. I can't remember. I just remember her saying that was my silver spoon. <laughs> I was born with a silver spoon. Not really. I was born the daughter of a police officer. They don't make anything, so trust me, there was no silver spoon in my mouth. Stainless steel, maybe. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, it's so good. So, it's not very hot. That ca can of coconut milk cooled it down. So, I'm just gonna turn it back up just a little bit and let that keep simmering, just low simmering, because now what we want it to do is just thicken up a little bit, but the taste is amazing. It is so good. It'll just make you feel good on a cold day. Y'all taste it. Y'all make it, taste it. Let me know what you think. I love it, and I hate ca cauliflower, okay? Nothing against cauliflower growers. Thank you for what you do. I don't like raw cauliflower. This does not taste like raw cauliflower. It actually kind of sort of is a mix between a potato soup and an onion soup. It's good, y'all. And the turmeric's real good for you. It's good for your joints. And you need the good fat from the coconut oil. I mean, coconut milk oil and the coconut oil. Coconut is a good fat. It's a medium chain fatty acid, which is what our body likes. Y'all make some and let me know how you like it. Somebody asked me if I would try to make gluten-free bagels, and I have been looking at recipes for gluten-free bagels, and they look kind of difficult, but I am still looking into it because there's, you've got to rise them, you got to rise them, you got to let them rise. You got to boil them. I mean, there's a whole lot that goes into it. So let me keep looking. I'm not giving up on it yet, but I want an easy gluten and dairy free because I can't have dairy, you know, as I've said a million times. But anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed this fake video that I just made about making cauliflower soup on my fake page because I'm a fake person. Did y'all know I was fake? I'm about the least fake person you'll ever know. <laughs> Because what you see is what you get with me. Anyway, uh, the snow is uh, no-go right now. No snow go. Snow no go. Snow no snow go. It's showing rain right now, so I'm a little bit sad that we might not get snow. But since the news is saying we're probably not going to get snow, we're probably going to get, you know, like 12 feet. So, I mean... Probably not 12 feet because we've probably never had 12 feet in Georgia. We'll probably uh, get a whole entire tenth of an inch. Yeah, so that's a lot. Just ask any man. Okay, so y'all uh, have a great rest of your weekend. And I'm just going to clean up the mess that I just made. And I will post my recipe in the comments. And y'all just come on and ask me any questions you want to. I don't know if I can answer them, but I'll look into it. If I don't know, I'll at least try to find an answer for you. So y'all have a great rest of your day. I'm not going to say that again. Remember that I love you. Jesus loves you. And I hope he's coming back soon. And I'll talk to you later. Peace out, babes.